I'm going to show you how to use the correlation matrix tool that's part of the Excel data analysis tool pack. I should note that the data analysis tool pack was left out of versions uh, 2008 and 2011 for the Mac. So if you have one of those versions, you'll need to download the free software STAT Plus LE. Excel's data analysis tool allows us to complete many common statistical tests, including correlations. The benefit of using the correlation tool over the Corel function is that the tool pack allows us to calculate many correlations simultaneously, resulting in a correlation matrix. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've collected a year's worth of uh, data for the so-called FANG stocks, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. And uh, I might want to calculate how well these stocks are, are correlated. Okay, an important part of the, the investment decision uh, may be to have stocks that are less well correlated uh, in your portfolio so that uh, if something bad happens to one, it doesn't necessarily happen to the other. Correlation relationships can be uh, classified three ways. Uh, there's a positive relationship where as one variable increases, uh, the other has a tendency to de increase as well. There's the negative relationship where as one variable increases, the other has a tendency to decrease. All right, and then there may be no relationship at all, and uh, this would mean that movement in one variable uh, cannot be predicted from the other. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on the data tab. I'm going to find data analysis all the way over on the right. And if you don't see that, it just means you need to turn it on. In Windows, you're going to hold the Alt key, then type TI simultaneously, or sorry, in succession, not simultaneously. Okay, if you're in uh, 2016 uh, for Mac, you're going to go to the uh, Tools menu and select Excel add ins, All right, and just then make sure that the uh, analysis tool pack is checked. Okay. All right, so you should now see the data analysis group all the way over on the right in the data tab, and you can go ahead and click the icon in there. Okay, so here's all the statistical tests we can do. Uh, I'm going to locate and click on correlation. I will click OK. And uh, in the dialog box in the output range, I'm going to select all the data in columns A through D. Okay. And since the first row contains labels, I'm going to check the box that says labels in the first row. Okay. And then for uh, output range, I'm going to output it on this same sheet. So I'm going to check that box. And then uh, I'm just going to have it show up in F4. Okay. All right, with that done, you just click OK and your matrix is produced. You'll notice that uh, the, the correlations are filled in on the diagonal. And uh, that's because if they were filled in up here, they would just be duplicated. Okay, and so now we can just look down through the table to find correlations. And uh, if you look at Facebook, Amazon, and Google, you'll see that they're almost all uh, identically correlated. Okay, so uh, we might expect that as the market moves, uh, these stocks would move uh, altogether similarly. All right, on the other hand, uh, Netflix is uh, less well correlated with the other three stocks. Okay, so it has a much lower correlation. All right. And in fact, it looks like it's the least correlated with Facebook at only 0.34. Okay, so uh, if you were building a portfolio and you wanted to minimize correlations, uh, then you might include, say, Facebook uh, and Netflix. Okay, so I hope that helps with the uh, correlation matrix.